Mass Tech. Today we're going to talk about mistakes. Now, as you probably know, we're trying to share uh, Linux to the world. And uh, we've been installing operating systems, uh, software, uh, to our clients. You know, we're selling refurbished computers uh, and we're installing uh, the operating systems that best fit their lifestyle. And the client that we have is an elderly Spanish-speaking couple. And the mistakes that we made were that we decided to install Linux Mint KDE. Why? Because I thought that the widgets were big enough so they could just click on them and access them um, and, you know, able to view their calendar, their their um, weather. So it was perfect, right? What we didn't put into consideration is that they were brand new to computers, brand new to hardware, so they didn't know how to use their mouse. So by not being able to utilize the mouse or not being able to, to master the mouse, uh, what they did is they were deleting their widgets. Uh, they deleted their widgets within two minutes. So what I did is I showed them again how to use the mouse and then uh, installed them again. And by the next day they called me and they said they had deleted their widgets again. So that's one of the things with KDE is that it is a very, uh, you can edit the information that you can see on your monitor, but at the same time, you'll, you're able to delete the widgets very easily. And that's what we found out. So that was one of the first mistakes. The second one is they're, they're Spanish speaking. So we decided to install everything in Spanish. Um, there was a problem there because they are just only the users. So all they needed was a, a, a widget. So it had their, their, um, their browser there so they double clicked it and they were accessing all they wanted is basically YouTube and Facebook uh, and well we installed it in Spanish I'll uh, talking about um, their their browser is that Linux Mint's browser is a very busy browser now I could have installed another browser cleaned it up but it just takes too much time so again Linux Mint KDE Probably not the best thing for um, for the elderly. Uh, so what I what I was talking about is Spanish speaking. Um, the, I mean the Spanish is that we installed everything in Spanish, but there was some issues with the widgets, so we needed to go back and reinstall the widgets. Well, it was very very hard for us. Um, everything was in Spanish. Now I am a full. I do speak Spanish fluently, but. Uh, technical as far as technical terms uh, I'm lost so I was having a very hard time trying to reinstall uh, their widgets setting up uh, some specific items that they wanted so I was having a very hard time so with all of that we decided to reinstall another operating system and we decided to install Ubuntu 11.10 now 12.4 came out now but 11.10 um, was the more stable uh, operating system at that time. It was a few weeks ago. So once we are, um, you know, and the reason why we did that is, you know, because of Unity, you have all the, you know, all your tabs to the left. They're very hard to customize or, or hard to delete if you don't know what you're doing. So, you know, it's pretty, pretty safe that they, they're not able to delete those uh, tabs. So that was a perfect thing because we've added Firefox there and then we, on Firefox, we added the tab, so that was very simple for them. Uh, we added some, you know, they had their calendar, they had their weather.